Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream here in Thailand. And today's video is going to be about when agents get it badly wrong. I deal with a lot of visa questions that many of my subscribers have and I basically have solutions for everything that can go wrong with a visa. Now this particular incident was a friend of mine using a, a visa agent. Now unfortunately one of my friends has got dementia. So therefore, forgetfulness as to when the visa is due, the 90 days and things like that. So the agents do come in handy. This agent has been acting for him now for about a couple of years. Did all these 90 days, collected his, his passport and renewed his visa and he never had to come out of the house. So, so in reality, the visa agent has been very good for the past two years. But this year, they've got it wrong. They've got it badly wrong. But there is a happy ending to the story so watch the video and you'll see actually how we got out of this situation um anyway my my friend's visa was due so six weeks before the visa's due the visa agent comes around collects the passport and uh, the agent's fee so four weeks went by and then next thing the agent rings up and says there's a problem with his passport and therefore they couldn't renew his visa and they couldn't renew his passport because he was an Australian. Now with such as me, UK passport, I can go to an agent and they can actually apply for it in my behalf but to get an Australian passport you actually have to go in person to the embassy here in Bangkok. So in reality the agent never checked for four weeks that the passport was actually going to run out before the visa was due to be renewed and he'd left it too late, two weeks before the visa and his passport ran out on the same day. So to get an Australian passport was going to take up to six weeks. So as you can see, he's, he was going to be in a bit of a sticky situation. So I contacted the Australian Embassy because again bearing in mind my friend's got dementia he has no idea what's going on and he, he struggles with paperwork and things like that so I contacted the Australian Embassy told him what the situation was so we made an appointment for him to go see the Embassy in Bangkok with the agent that had been dealing with it in the first place the trouble is with this is that his passport will have run out six days or so in effect he was on August day by six days of the time he gets to the embassy. So I filled all the paperwork out, made the appointment, and we had a, a day where we had to go to the Australian embassy in Bangkok. Now working on the worst case scenario where he wasn't gonna be with a passport for six weeks, he's gonna be a maximum pay of August day of 20,000 baht. And obviously that wasn't going to do his record any good whatsoever. But and with all the bits of paper with regard to the fact that he's got dementia, we got that on a doctor's report here in Thailand. So the agent took him to Bangkok to go and see the embassy. And the embassy gave him an emergency one-year passport. And then obviously filled out all the paperwork so he could get his 10-year passport as well. So by giving him an emergency passport meant he could actually get a visa now. So he wouldn't be staying six weeks on overstay. And his overstay altogether came to 6,500 baht, which wasn't as, as bad as what we thought it was going to be. So armed with the emergency passport, the agent went back down to the immigration department and got his visa sorted out. So now, he wasn't on overstay, he'd been granted another yearly visa. And then as soon as his new passport arrived, they take the emergency passport down and get the visa transferred over to his 10 year passport. So our first thought of when, when we found out he's got this huge problem actually didn't turn out to be a, as big a problem as I thought it was going to be. And the agent was full of apologies for letting this happen because they know the, the situation of my friend being in um, got dementia and that and struggles with, with the paperwork and struggles with day-to-day uh, -day living now. Um, but they still charge their fee, of course. And, you know, it, it happens. The agent sort of came good in the end because they've got everything else sorted out for him now. So the total cost for his emergency passport 
was about five and a half thousand baht and the cost of his Australian passport because he had to apply for it in Bangkok that was about 10,600 as well and then with his overstay fees and the agents fees I think it came to just over 45,000 baht when all was said and done but now he's back into the situation where this visa agent works for him does all his 90 days so this problem should never happen again for quite a few years in the future. So anybody with visa problems or passport problems, there's always a fix and a solution. So therefore, if you can manage to do your visa without using an agent, you can save yourself a lot of money and most problems can be sorted out. But the visa agents do also have their role and they wave their magic wand and these problems sort of go away. And I've got to say I'm thankful to this visa agent that actually Although they made a big mistake, they actually rectified it and sorted the problems out, which was good for them to do that. So I hope this video has been of some use to those people who, who were facing a little bit of a sticky situation with regard to the visas. And visa agents can wave their magic wand and get you out of all sorts of trouble. So leave your comments down below what you thought of the video. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Subscribing would be very nice as it helps my channel along. So from Les, retired and live a dream. Till the next one, bye for now.